Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are cleaning up and undecorating from my aunt's Halloween themed birthday party. If you guys missed the party prep video, I will go ahead and link it up above in case that's something that you want to go ahead and check out. My family kind of potlucked uh, the foods of the party, but I was in charge of the desserts, which is like I consider more of my specialty than like savory cooked goods. So if you want to see how I made little meringue ghosts or a Halloween themed birthday cake, make sure you guys go ahead and check out that party prep video. If you really love party prep videos, I do have a playlist. I've had a number of party preps um, on this channel and I've just kind of started, starting with my last after party clean with me, started videotaping, you know, taking everything down. So if this is something that you guys enjoy, please let me know down below in the comments so that I can continue to do more videos like this. I filmed this video over the course of a number of days. The party itself took place before Halloween, so I really didn't want to take all of our Halloween decorations down before Halloween even happened. So a lot of those things I left up. So at first we're just kind of tackling the main just dirty mess that occurred from so many people coming in and out from our backyard. And then later we will be actually taking down the more like Halloween themed decorations. So if you watched my frozen themed party prep or cleanup video, you either saw or heard that the fake snow made a huge mess and everyone tracked it in. Well, we didn't have fake snow this time, but this floor was still pretty dirty. And you know what? I'm not really gonna complain because cleaning the floors is super satisfying. I love seeing everything get vacuumed up and mopped away. So, you know, there are pros and cons to people tracking in dirt. So we're moving on, we're gonna clean up this glass board. For this party, I actually did everything by hand. For my daughters, I you know, incorporated some work with the Cricut. But again, I wanted to leave up some of the fall decorations. So I just erased the like birthday aspect of the board and put up um, some of the things that I'm working with Aubrey during the week. Yeah, just smell it. <laughs> Same song, a brand new dance. I wear out my third second chance. You take my breath and I can't get it back. Might be time for me to face the facts. The best me is with you, but I know I got a lot to prove. They think we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're just young.
So this is kind of where I left it since, you know, we still had a number of days till Halloween. I like to kind of enjoy the balloon arch for as long as possible. But now we are at a new day and we're taking down the balloon arch. It's kind of, you know, it's seen its day. These Dollar Tree balloons don't always last long or are the best quality. But Aubrey said that she wanted to save some white balloons. So I did save a couple of those, but I just popped the rest and took down this nice little balloon arch, which I will be using soon for like a retreat at our church. I'm giving a little talk, so stay tuned for a video where I share the decoration that I make as well as the talk that I'm going to give. So this little table decoration is like a DIY willow skirt. If you guys are new to my channel and haven't really seen my preps and all of that stuff, this is a new DIY decoration that is really simple and in my opinion brings like a lot of elegance to a party, especially if you just have like a basic six foot table like we do. I really think it spices it up and the color choices are endless. So make sure to check out my last two like kind of party prep videos to see how I made this so that uh, you know you can make it for yourself if this is something that you'd like to recreate you also saw me pack away my fall themed tic-tac-toe board as well as my fall themed memory game that was actually like a hit with my family and i'm really glad that i did something but you know i didn't have to make anything too elaborate to entertain them and then we're going to finally clean up my sliding glass door art that i did for the party and for halloween We're gonna go ahead and go outside and just take down some of these wired decorations that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just used like a couple different ones that I had on hand and decorated these posts. So it added a nice little touch, but there was no like really elaborate decorations outside. And then right above our island, I had some witches hats hanging and one of them like finally fell down like days after the party. So I went ahead and finally just decided to take the lone hat that was uh, hanging there. I decided to take it down. I was kind of sad to see our hallway decorations go, but it was time for them to kind of get out of the way so I can start thinking about the upcoming holidays and maybe how I want to decorate for that. 
And then we're going to be just kind of taking down the last couple little Halloween themed decorations. I changed our bathroom art just to be all fall rather than have some Halloween in there. We moved our little skeleton guy back in its box and tucked that away as well as the other two little decorations that we had out front for Halloween. But we are leaving our lights up for the rest of November. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.